Whether you want the perfect backdrop for your dream wedding or want to celebrate the holidays in style, the Inn of Villa Bianca serves up delicious luncheon and dinner parties for life's special occasions. Tony Mavuli is the executive chef and owner, and he's back to share another one of his tasty dishes. Always great to have you here, Tony. I'm glad to be back. And, uh, of course, we always love to talk about the Inn. Let's take a look at this. You have some fabulous chandeliers that, that oh, yes. uh, are in the entrance of uh, the, uh, the, at the inn. And the entrance and the each room, we got a beautiful chandeliers. Also, right now, we are in the middle of the rearrange all the gardens with all the flowers. In the spring, you start with the tulips, then with the flowers, and also the English garden for ceremonies aside and for picture taking which are fabulous pavilion which is very very popular right now and which this is, is all booked for next year oh goodness and, and i know that the weddings are are is were the biggest things that you really schedule at at the oh, end yes. and look at the chapel here oh yes we got it inside and out and uh, most a lot of people are familiar with our chapel and the uh, art grounds which are they are impeccable and uh, one of the best in connecticut so well, you were saying that the gardens are getting uh, totally redone. Totally redone right now. It's going right to be beautiful from in the now, spring and summer. Yes, from now to the spring, it will be done by sometime in January, February. It will be all completely done. And really quickly, let's talk about what's going on right now, the special offer that you're giving brides. So listen up, brides. We give them 20% discount for the first 50 weddings book for 2012. That's 2012. And also, you have a special discount for anything open for Fridays and Sundays right now. And also, if you got anything open on Saturday for 2011, which are most of we are more or less completely full. But always try because we do have uh, some openings uh, always something it very can come good up. well let's get uh, today, let's get cooking here what are we making the sea today bass right we prepare a branzino branzino sea bass okay is nice look at that whoa look at that yes <laughs> let me get a little it's cover awfully hot yes, okay very hot you have to uh, keep you, up you need you to only, have it hot right oh yes very hot it take about 15 minutes. Okay. This recipe is like a red snapper recipe, but I transfer it to Branzino. Branzino okay. is the sea bass, and uh, it's very easy to make. I fillet this. Okay. Which and that's also sea bass. Sea bass, okay. right, exactly. I make it two, two ways. Some people like to fillet, some people like. If the I go to fish. the restaurant, mm -hmm. if I go to the restaurant, I prefer. The Branzino all himself, I clean them myself. I, I do too, I like it that way as well. Okay, some. This is faster to cook, the filet. This, yes, if you like, you can ask. And uh, we do it with the uh, Caribbean style, with the mango and grapes, a red and onion, and with a touch of rum to sweeten them up. Okay, so you have mangoes, grapes, and onions, right. and a touch of rum. Right. So okay, that is very quick. That was only a few, few it, maybe a minute yes, or two it there. It doesn't take it too long. Now, well, how do you choose the fish, Tony, well, for those of us who are not quite sure how to do that? When you go to the fishing market, you can to look at the fresh, you look by the eye, you have to be nice, shine, and bright. And bright. If it isn't, it means it's old. Okay. So you stay away from that. So these. And Branzino we, today, you can pick them up in the fish market, almost every place. Before was a uh, special flight from Italy, but right now, from Europe really. But right now you can, can get really it. You can really get it anywhere. Uh, and uh, it's not that expensive. You can get it. And we're frying this up with olive oil or regular oil? I use extra virgin olive extra oil virgin. all the time. Okay. And then, when it's done, I sweet them up with a little butter. A little? <laughs> yeah, it's not that much really. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so you add the butter. R you add the butter, mm -hmm. first, and then you put a little onion. You saute the onion just, just a touch. Okay, you see? Okay. And then when it's almost ready, is it almost after ready? The, after the onion is getting a little, little color there. Yes. Yes, it's almost ready. You put a little grape, a little mango, just enough to 
warm it up. You don't have to be cooked with this, but it's fresh. It's a beautiful dish. In the, any time. Very colorful. Any time of day, yes. Are you adding any herbs or anything to that, or salt and pepper? Yes. Okay. Now you can put a nice little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Now while you do that, Tony, let's talk a little bit about some of the events you're, that's coming up in November and December. What do you have going? You have your porchetta dinners? Oh yes, these we do every last Monday of the month. And uh, also we have every first Monday of the month the dinner testing. Every bride yes. is more than welcome to try the food. This way you know what to offer for the wedding. And also if you want to have a holiday party at the inn, it, are there still some dates open for that? Uh, we have a combination party, mm -hmm. uh, the December 10 and the 17, which is more companies, 10, 15, 20 people, even 40, 50 people, you can join a DJ. Everything included for so $60. So they, share, they, they share, share the space, basically. Yeah, right. yeah, people love it. Okay. And yeah. how's the, that other fish? Okay. Oh, is that almost done? Beautiful. That looks great, and it smells just wonderful. Really does. Is this ready to eat already, Tony? Uh, this is ready to eat. You oh, can goodness. try. This is the beautiful Branzino. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall we try it both? Or you Please, can, try uh, this. You try it, too, because we want to make sure everything tastes the way you'd like it. Okay. Uh, I guess we should add a little mango to that. Oh, huh? yes. Try that. Okay. Mmm. I love the fish. And I'm gonna have some mango. You see that? Mm. And then you can try We can put a little white mm -hmm. wine if you mm -hmm. like. Also, if you want, you can put a little flavor rum. And what does the rum do? You sweet them up a little oh, bit. Oh, sweet. Me, I'm it? not too crazy about that, but this recipe sometimes it calls for that. So, right. But I prefer a little white wine. Again, we'll have this recipe on our website. And the Inn at Villa Bianca is located in Seymour. All the information is right there on the screen. Again, all, you, all of you who are planning weddings, be sure to call Tony because he's me. got that great discount in 2012. Right. 20% off that. 20% off. We're talking thousands of dollars. Yes, a lot of savings. A lot of and savings. And the quality is impeccable. Absolutely. You can beat that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm always happy there. Give me a call. Coming up next, let's